Welcome back, Calibre Tools family. Today we're going to talk about bottle jacks. That's this thing you see right here in front of you. This thing can lift houses, cars. I've even seen it used to cut down gigantic trees, but that's another video. We're going to see how it works in a minute, so stay tuned. <music> Now, most of you are familiar with the regular old floor jack. You know, the kind that you use to lift your car when you're changing a tire or working on your car. But this is a hydraulic bottle jack. Why do they call it a bottle jack? It's pretty obvious. It's shaped like a bottle. Within this cylindrical body is a hydraulic cylinder that's used to lift something when pressure is applied to it. Quick note, hydraulics involves using liquid under pressure in a confined space like the housing of this bottle jack to move something from point A to point B. Similar to pneumatics, which involves using air under pressure in a confined space like a compressor to move something, like an air jack, like a nail gun or a air-driven rivet gun or something air-driven. Okay, time to get familiar with the parts of a bottle jack. Right on the top here is called the saddle, this area right here. Okay, this is what contacts whatever surface that you're trying to lift from underneath. This part right here is called the ram. This is what the saddle sits in. If we turn it this way, we can see this little hole on the side of the bottle jack here. This is called the oil plug. This is where you would insert hydraulic oil in the bottle jack. And it's also where you would release any air pressure from the bottle jack as well. Now these two pieces of metal tubing here is called the handle assembly. So what you do is you take the smaller tubing and insert it into the bigger one like this. All right. And then right here on the side of the bottle jack, you have this sleeve here that you can insert the handle into like that. And then you simply push up and down to lift your hydraulic bottle jack ram. This is the bottle jack carrying handle. Now, before you use your bottle jack, you want to make sure that you perform what's called a system air purge. That's just to release any air that may be trapped in the bottle jack from a previous use or if it's brand new from shipping and handling. So the first step in that procedure is to locate at the base of the bottle jack, this right here. It's called the release valve. So you want to turn the release valve one full turn counterclockwise, okay? So if you can't do it with your hand, you can take something like a crescent wrench and do that. Or you can take the smaller handle assembly and notice that it's an oval shape rather than a perfect circle, and it's narrow enough to fit onto the release valve and turn it. Remember, you don't want to have any weight on the saddle at all when you perform this procedure. So step number two, take your handle and pump about six to eight times really fast. And then leave the handle in the down position. Keeping the handle in the down position helps to expose the oil plug, right? Because our next step is to release air from the oil plug, any air trapped in the system. And you want to take something like a flat blade screwdriver to push the oil plug aside to let any air out, right? Now this oil plug is not metal, it's not made of any hard material, it's made of a rubber type material, so you wanna be very careful when you push it aside to let any air out, right? So here we go. Okay, so any air that was trapped in the system has been released. Then after that, we want to turn the release valve back clockwise one full turn. All right, so if you want to lower the saddle back down, it's pretty simple. You simply take your handle or your crescent wrench or something like that, and you turn the release valve counterclockwise slowly, and you push down on the saddle till it's back down.
All right, guys, I just want to go over a couple of things when you're jacking up your vehicle that you should know, okay? Number one, you want to make sure that your wheels are chalked, okay? Uh, if you don't know what that is, you just want to make sure you find something to stop your wheels from rolling, okay? So you put a block, a piece of wood, or actual chalks, you know, under your wheels to make sure that they don't roll while you're working on your car or lifting it or whatever. Then you wanna find out where your lift points, the designated lift points on your vehicle are. The lift points are the points where the vehicle can take stress uh, or handle weight when you're lifting the car. Every car has one. You wanna find out where those are. Typically they're under here somewhere in that area, close to the wheels, right? So you wanna make sure you find your lift points and that's where you put your jack when you wanna use it to lift your car. You wanna make sure that the saddle contacts those lift points, okay? And you also wanna make sure that your parking brake is set. Anytime you are working on your car or using a jack or anything like that, you wanna make sure that you set your parking brake, very important. And you wanna make sure that the saddle has full contact with the lift point, right? You don't want the lift point partially on the saddle, very dangerous. Then after you lift the car, you wanna make sure that you have some jack stands on hand to support the weight of the car, all right? Then once you support the weight of the car or the vehicle with jack stands, then you can remove your bottle jack. Do not support the vehicle with a bottle jack only. And you always wanna use your jack on a hard level surface, okay? If you use it on anything other than a hard level surface, you're pretty much playing Russian roulette with your life, with your car, with your vehicle, with with your load, okay? So make sure that the surface that you place the jack on is hard, like this concrete right here, this pavement. Place your jack on a level surface. You do not want to place your jack on an uneven surface. That's self-explanatory. Another thing, guys, is that you don't want to overload your bottle jack, okay? The, uh, the average compact car is about 3,000 pounds, all the way up to a full-size SUV, which can be around 6,500 pounds. So you gotta make sure that your bottle jack is rated for the load that you want to lift, right? This particular bottle jack is a 20-ton bottle jack. That's 40,000 pounds, but they have 10-ton jacks, they have 12-ton jacks. So just make sure that you have the right bottle jack for the job. If you wanna add oil to your bottle jack, you simply remove the oil plug right here And you can take a funnel and just put it in this hole and just add oil. If you want to replace the oil, you want to go to the release valve and you want to turn it four full turns counterclockwise and then you remove the plug. Turn the jack on its side and let the oil drain out. Then after that, position it on level ground. Make sure that the saddle is all the way down and then put a funnel in the oil plug hole and fill it with oil and then replace the plug. So if you're waffling between a bottle jack and a floor jack, well, for one, you can see that a bottle jack is definitely smaller than a floor jack, which means it's easier to store, it's portable, right? And it can lift more. So, hey, you make the decision. Both have their advantages, right? Hey guys, if you took some value out of this video, please hit the like and subscribe button so I can come back with some more content like this for you. Take care, guys.